Dear and dear my channel, and welcome to another episode of Read the Bible with me. We're currently on the last five chapters of the Genesis book. We have only only four more to go. Oh, oh! But today we read Genesis forty-six, and today we're reading Genesis forty-seven. Joseph went into the king and said, My father and my brothers have run for Canaan. They have the flocks and herds and everything that they own with them. Wow. They are now in the land of Bashan. <sighs> Joseph chose five of his brothers to introduce to the king. The king said to the brothers, What work do you do? And they said to him, We, your, your servants, are shepherds. Our ancestors were also shepherds. They said to the king, well, come to live in this land. There is no grass in the land. Look at that for animals to eat. The hunger is very terrible there. So please, allow us to live in the land of Kashan. Yeah. Then the king said to Joseph, Your father and your brothers have come to you. You may choose any place in Egypt for them to live. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> Give your father and your brothers the best land that are loved in the land of Goshen, and if any of them are skilled shepherds, put them in charge of the sh my sheep and cattle. Then Joseph brought his father and introduced him to the king. And okay, let me start over. Then Joseph brought in his father Jacob and introduced him to the king, and Jacob blessed the king. And the king said to Jacob, How old are you? My life has, has been spent wandering from place to place. It has been sort of filled with problems. I have lived only 130 years. My ancestors lived much longer than I. Then Jacob blessed the king and left. So I bade the king. He gave his father and brothers the best land in Egypt. It was near the city of Ram. I'm says. And Joseph gave his father, his brother, and everyone who learned them the food they needed. The hunger became worse, and there was no food anywhere in the land. The land of Egypt and the land of became very poor because of this. Joseph collected all the money that was to be found in Egypt and Canaan. People paid him this money for the grain they were and the grain they were buying. He brought that money to the king's palace. After some time, the people in Egypt. And Canaan had no money left. So I went to Joseph and said, Please give us food. Our money is gone. And if we don't eat, we will we will starve until the end of our lives in front of you. Joseph answered, Since you have no money, give me a farm animals. I will give you food in return. So people brought their, so people brought their farm animals to Joseph. Why do I fumble out of the words sometimes? Yeah. And he gave them food in exchange for their horses, sheep, cattle, and donkeys. So he kept, so he kept them alive by taking food for the farm animals that year. Wow! Fire animals and give Joseph fire animals in exchange for for food. Wow. Next year people came to Joseph and said, You know, we have no money left and our animals belong to you. We have nothing left except our bodies and our land. Surely we in both we and our land will starve till the end of our lives here in front of you. Buy us and our land in exchange for food, and we will be slaves to the king, together with our land. Give us seeds to plant. They will, they will live forever, and the land will not become a desert. So Joseph bought all own land in Egypt for the king. Every Egyptian saw Joseph his fields because the hunger was great, so the land became the king's. And Joseph made the people slaves from one out of Egypt to another. 
The only thing he did not buy was the land the princes owned. They did not need to sell their land because the king paid them for their work so they had money to buy food. Ah, oh, wow. This is getting kind of thing. Just as I did the people not have bought you and your land for the king. So I will give you seed and you can plant your fields. And at harvest time, you must give one fifth to the king. You may keep four fifths for yourselves. You will sit as seed for the field and food and as food for yourself. Your families and your children. The people said, "Yes, saved our lives. If you like, we will become slaves of the king." So Joseph made a law in Egypt. We could do you today. One of them, everything for the land belonged to the king. The only land the king did not get was the priest's land. The Israelites continued to live in the land of Goshen in Egypt. Near the over centuries, they had many children in good number. Jacob also called Israel. Lived in Egypt 70 years, so he lived to be 147 years old. It's the only knew he would soon pass on, so he called his son Joseph to him. She said to Joseph, If you love me, put your hand on my leg. Promise me you will not bury me in Egypt. And when I pass away, bury me, carry on in Egypt. Bury me where my ancestors are buried. Joseph answered, I will do as you say. And Jacob said, Promise me. And Joseph promised him he knew he would do this. Then Israel worshipped as he leaned on the top of his walking stick. So that was Genesis 47. Please watch this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to push the like button, comment down below, what you want to see next, and subscribe to my channel for more videos such as this one. So until next time, this is what I'm saying. See you guys in the next video. Bye!